The Forgotten Realms Magic the Gathering set is on the way, and today I want to talk about a planeswalker who isn't who he says he is, and how Wizards of the Coast may have got him wrong. Hello, planeswalkers, and welcome to the Signature Spell Bomb, your place for Oathbreaker content for the Oathbreaker Magic the Gathering format. If you like the videos I make, please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe, especially that share part. The more people I can get watching these videos, the more you can help me blow up the Oathbreaker format. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new Planeswalker card, Bahamut, and kind of rating it like I usually do. A Planeswalker is a commander in the Oathbreaker format. So let's go ahead and start out with the first piece I always like to talk about. About, which is the lore. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the card up. It is beautiful. I love the art on this card. The art is indeed the character Bahamut out of the Forgotten Realms setting. Bahamut is often presented as such, as a wandering traveler, but of course, since he's a dragon king, he's not allowed to go anywhere without bodyguards. You see those four little gold birds in that picture? They're actually transmuted gold dragons. Now, going through the rest of the card walls, I love that art, and I like the fact it says Planeswalker Bahamut. Here's where the error occurs. Bahamut can change shapes and form. However, in all of the Forgotten Realms books so far, up to this point, he has never been the Grandmaster of Flowers. That is a completely different character in the Forgotten Realms world. The Grandmaster of Flowers is a monk martial artist ghost or spirit, depending on how you want to think about it, who trains other people in the ways of martial arts, which is an amazing story and still not Muhammad. For this fact, despite the fact I like the art and I like what they've done with the card, they really only needed to change two words on this card for me to give it better than five for its lower ranking. Those two words are dragon and god. If it simply read spirit monk then and they didn't have Muhammad on the type line, then this card would would be perfect from a lore standpoint. And that's if they took it in the Grand Master of Flowers direction. If they took it in the Bahamut direction, well, a little bit more has to change on the card. Next up, I wanna talk about the playability of this card. This card is actually extremely playable and it's gonna be pretty good in the format. However, when you look at it, a two and two white cost, three loyalty planeswalker that will eventually become a creature with indestructible. Does that remind you of anybody? When I looked at this card, I immediately thought, this is this world's Gideon. Well, as I like that, when choosing a Planeswalker for your Oathbreaker deck, other than cost or loyalty, one other important thing to consider is can the Planeswalker protect itself? That's going to give you more stability in the game and allow you to go off and win more often. Muhammad's abilities, both of them, allow him to control incoming attacks and allow you to search up a card and put it in your hand like a one of draw spell. Again, to that seven loyalty in a mono white deck isn't that hard either, as there are plenty of proliferate cards in the Oathbreaker format that we do have access to. And when I thought about playing with Grandmaster Flowers, the first thought that occurred to me is Voltron. An incredibly powerful strategy if you just want to beat somebody down with your Planeswalker. The beauty of Voltron is, is as long as you know you've got a guaranteed creature you can always get in play, you can actually run less creatures in the deck. You do have to worry about any effect that's going to permanently turn your Planeswalker offline or steal it. So think about that if you're going to run Buhamet will run, I think in most cases, very similar to, as I mentioned earlier, a Gideon deck. Finally, I want to talk about cost. I always rank Planeswalker cards based on lore, playability, and cost. It's really hard to do that when these cards are new because there's the inflation in the prices that makes them inaccurate. So right now, this card is about $17.90 on the market. I imagine it will probably drop, given that there's multiple printings, multiple arts of it, that it will probably come down once boxes of a Forgotten Realms are open. So if you are interested in running this Planeswalker, you might want to wait a bit. So when I look at Buhamut and I take all these factors into account, I would say he's a solid B, very playable in the Oathbreaker format. hope this has helped you. I know I may have missed something, so please let me know how you guys feel about Grandmaster of Flowers comments below. I do really want to hear what you think, and if there's any other lore Forgotten Realms set that you think they may have got wrong or you think somebody should be talking about, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for dropping by, and remember, your Planeswalker Spark lights up my life.